Carey Show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now, Harold Perry as Honest Harold, the homemaker. Well, let's look in on the little town of Melrose Springs, home of that popular radio entertainer, Honest Harold, the homemaker. It's morning now. We find Harold and his mother at the breakfast table. <sighs> Harold is a little dreamy, thinking of his date last night with the lovely dancing teacher, Theodora. I saw you last night and got that ooh feeling. Harold. Bloody Harold. Yeah. Oh, what is it, Mother? You haven't touched your Regina son. And I bet I know who you're thinking of. Theodora. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Harold, I uh, forgot. Here's the morning mail. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see it, Mother. Maybe Theodora sent me a little Billy Dew. Hope there aren't any Dewey Bills. <laughs> <laughs> what? Eh? Uh, skip it, Mother. It was intended for a joke. Oh. <laughs> oh, what's this? A letter from Charlieville. Why, it's from my old high school sweetheart, Flora Bell Breckenridge. Oh, I remember her. She was awfully sweet on you. Yeah, and she was awfully sweet, too. Let's see what she says. Dear Tootsie Roll. <laughs> That's what she used to call me in home economics. <laughs> I made a Tootsie Roll pie once. <laughs> Let's see. I heard you sing on your radio program yesterday, and it brought back memories of that night we went on the hayride together. Gosh, I remember that hayride with Flora Bell. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what else did she say, Harold? Yeah, let's see. If you'd like to see me again after all these years, just sing that song you sang to me on the hayride. For you. Well, that's the first song I learned on my mandolin. Oh, yes. Gosh, little Flora Bell Breckenridge. We were engaged, practically. She wore my gold senior class ring till her finger turned green. <laughs> And just think, Mother, she wants to see me again. But, Harold, you wouldn't want to see her now. Of course not. I'm true blue to Theodora. Just nice to know I'm still so attractive, though. <laughs> <laughs> Harold, you and Theodora have been going together for quite a while now. Have you ever thought about getting engaged? Well, I've thought about it. <laughs> I'd like to see my son settle down. Just think. One of these days I'll be a grandmother. What? Mother? You'll bring your little family over to see me on Sunday, and I'll say, hello, Harold, and hello, Theodora, and hello, little Harold, and hello, little Haroldine, mm -hmm. and hello, little Gerald, and hello, little Geraldine. Mother! And hello, little Norman. Stop it, Mother. I'd never be able to afford all those Hopalong Cassidy suits. <laughs> Little Haroldine. <laughs> Mother's pretty cute, all right. Not a bad idea, though, getting engaged to Theodora. She's a wonderful girl. And being engaged is still one step from being married. But old brother watched that last step. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Doc. How's the veterinary business? I'd say it was going to the dogs. <laughs> Gee, you might say it, but nobody else would. No, I'm only joking, Harry. Yeah. I'm waiting for Pete. We're going to the park and build a snowman. You care to join us? Well, sounds like a lot of fun, Doc, but I really can't. I'm on my way to Theodora's. Oh, better be careful, Harold, or someday you'll be deserting the ranks of us eligible bachelors. Uh-oh. Well, don't let it get around, Doc, but I am thinking of getting engaged. Well, congratulations, Harold. Of course, I haven't asked the lady yet. Thought I might go by this morning and... Ask her that $64 question. <laughs> well, howdy, boy. Well, hello, Pete. Hey, Pete, our old friend Harold here is thinking of getting engaged. Well, he's lovely. He's engaged to use his Burma shape. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, if Harold's going to be engaged, we ought to give him a shower. What? A shower? Okay, I'll bring the soap. <laughs> Lum and Abner. <laughs> 
I can just see you walking down the aisle. Here comes the bride, wiggling from side to side. Stop. Here, Here comes, comes the groom, a going to his doom. doom. <laughs> Ain't that a doozy? <laughs> <laughs> it certainly is. I think I'll elope. Hope my little dancing teacher is in. She must have borrowed those door chimes from Carmen Miranda. Who is it? It's Haroldy Waldy, Theodora. Yeah. Bet she'll be thrilled when I pop the question. Hello, Harold. How's my little gumdrop this morning? Yeah. Tootsie rolls and gumdrops. <laughs> Guess I'm the candy kid. <laughs> Theodora, we've been going together quite a while now. Yes? I've been seeing you just about every night. And I've been a bachelor for an awfully long time. Of course, that's kind of hard to understand, being such a ladies' man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A ladies' man? You said it. Why, just this morning I got a letter from an old sweetheart of mine. She said our romance could flame up again. All I'd have to do is pour in a little lighter fluid. Oh. <laughs> So, you see, I must be still pretty attractive. Harold? Huh? I just received a letter, too, from an old sweetheart of mine. You did? Yes. Charlie Cathcart. Oh, we were very fond of each other back home. Oh, you were? Yes. We used to have such good times together. He sent me some old snapshots. Here's one. The two of us canoeing on Groundhog River. Uh. <laughs> Who's that in front of the canoe? Why, that's Charlie. Uh, thought it was a groundhog. <laughs> Harold. Uh. Oh, here's a picture of Charlie on a picnic. Uh. He's drinking a glass of water while he's standing on his head. <laughs> that's not so hard to do if you got a flat head. <laughs> Always doing cute things like that. Ah, <laughs> uh, show off. He said he might come here for a visit. Mm, my, it would be a lot of fun to see him again. It would? Oh, Harold, what did you come in to ask me? Uh, nothing, Theodora. Goodbye. Give my regards to Charlie Flattop. Mm. <laughs> oh, shut up. Charlie Cathcart. Suppose she thinks I'm jealous. Well, I could make her jealous if I wanted to. One word from me and Flora Bell Breckenridge would come flying in the first bus. All I'd have to do is sing our song on my radio program this morning. By George, I'll do it. As we used to say in home economics, what sauce for the goose is best described on page 13? <laughs> All right, quiet, musicians. We're about ready to go on the air, you know. Hit it, Yasha. Good morning, radio listeners. This is Honest Harold, the homemaker. Ladies, I'm going to start my program this morning with a very special song dedicated to a very special young lady. I hope you're listening. It's for you. I will gather stars out of the blue For you For you I'll make a string of pearls Out of the dew For you For you And over the street, carpets of clover, I lay at your feet. Oh, there's nothing in this world I wouldn't do for you. Uh, 
Uh, I wonder if Flora Bell will come. Getting tired of waiting around this bus station. That darn bus from Charlieville is late again. Never been on time since that bus driver started running an egg route on the side. Harold, there you are. Uh, Theodora, what are you doing here? I've been looking all over town for you. Oh? Harold, I heard you sing that special song on your program this morning. You did? It was so sweet of you to sing that just for me. Huh? Uh, well, uh, you see... And Harold, I was just teasing you about Charlie Cathcart. Uh, did I make my little teddy bear jealous? Jealous? No. <laughs> Harold. Yeah? When you came to see me this morning... I had a feeling that you were going to propose. Well, I did think we might get engaged. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Why don't you ask me now? Well... I accept. Oops. Harold, we're engaged. <laughs> we are? Oh, I've got to get back to the dancing academy. What? I have to give a Charles to lesson. What? See you later, lover boy. Hey, um... Uh, that was a quick engagement. <laughs> I didn't even get a ring. <laughs> well, glad it worked out this way. Guess I'll go home and tell Mother the good news. Oh, <laughs> Tootsie Roll! Zeef, who's that? Tootsie Wootsie Wootsie Roll! Ye gods, Flora Bell Breckenridge. Hello, Harold. Here's your little Flora Bell. Ting-a-ling! Ting-a-ling! <laughs> out of order. <laughs> Laura Bell, <laughs> fancy meeting you here. <laughs> oh, Harold, isn't this the most romantic thing you ever had of? You called to me on wings of song and I came on a greyhound bus. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you got a round trip ticket. <laughs> Laura Bell. Harold, let me look at you. Why, well, declare you haven't changed an itty bitty bit. New suit. <laughs> well, thank you But Flora Bell, I... Oh, remember that night on the hayride We snuggled together And you held me closer and closer Will you ever forget it? I sure won't I cracked my mandolin <laughs> Flora Bell, hmm? there's something I've just got to tell you And I... Just don't know how to say it. I know what my bashful sugar plum is trying to say. Uh, you do? You want to tell little Flora Bell you still care. But... Well, I still care, too. But... And look, Harold, I'm still wearing your senior class ring. It's kept your memory green. Yes. <laughs> sure has. Did you want your ring back? Oh, no, no. You keep it right there on your little green finger. Oh, <laughs> Pa, that means I'm engaged. Huh? <laughs> you engaged, too. Too? You said it. And just think, this wouldn't have happened if I hadn't heard you sing on the radio. Yeah, I knew I should have gone into television. <laughs> <laughs> return for the second act of our story, Honest Harold, in just a moment. Jimmy Stewart will be the special guest on the CBS Bing Crosby show tonight. That's your guarantee of some very amusing sketches, plus some of that wonderful Crosby singing. Oh? The Bing Crosby show is heard every Wednesday evening on most of these same CBS stations. Join Bing and Jimmy Stewart just a little later this evening. And now, back to Harold Perry as Honest Harold, the homemaker. Well, when a man becomes engaged to a woman, that's serious When a man becomes engaged to two women at the same time That's murder Yes, one of these days, wedding bells may be ringing for Honest Harold But who will be the bride? Well, I hope it's Theodora. But what am I going to do about Flora Bell? Oh, quiet. 
Well, it's afternoon now, and we find Honest Harold at home in his living room, talking over this weighty problem with his mother. Uh, uh, woe is me. My son, you do have a problem engaged to two women. Yeah, I wonder how the Court of Human Relations would handle this. Where is Florabelle now, Harold? Florabelle is waiting for me right now down at the malt shop. Gosh, Mother, I don't want to be engaged to Florabelle. What am I going to tell her? Well, son, the only fair thing to do is go down and tell her that you made a mistake. That's not going to be easy. Florabelle's always had an awful temper. She's liable to turn on me like a wounded puma. <laughs> <laughs> well, Harold, it'll take courage, but we hemps have always had that. Oh? Just look at that picture on the wall. Your grandfather, Clem Trap Hemp. Yeah? There was a brave man. <laughs> You can just see courage sticking out all over his face. Oh? Well, that was his beard. <laughs> One day out west, Clemtrap was walking through the woods all alone. Suddenly, he ran into a bear. The bear growled at him. Whoop. But did your grandfather run away? No. He just growled right back. Whoop. <laughs> then the bear grabbed your grandfather and they began to wrestle. First, the bear was on top. Then your grandfather was on top. Then the bear was on top. Yeah, mother, who won the first he, fall? Well... When it was all over, your grandmother had a new bearskin coat. <laughs> yes, Clem Trap had real courage, Harold. Mother, you're right. If grandfather can do it, I can do it. Of course you can. Just take another look at that picture. All right. Brother, what a beard. <laughs> Mother, are you sure that isn't the bear? <laughs> this thrilling, Harold? What's that, Flora Bell? After all these years, us two sitting in the same old malt shop, in the same old booth, in the same old way. Yeah, and I'm in the same old trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the only, the only thing different is now we're engaged. Zeef. Flora Bell, mm -hmm. there's something I've got to talk And looky here. Here's where you carved our initials on the table. H.H. Mm. loves guess who. Know what that means? H.H. loves guess who? Oh, sure. That's Herbert Hoover loves Harry Truman. <laughs> Silly boy. You mean it isn't? Oh, no. It means, Harold, that our love will last as long as this table. Hmm. Wonder where I can hire some good termites. <laughs> Flora Bell, I'm going to be frank. I... Pardon me. What'll it be, folks? What? Oh. Oh, well, I'll have a chocolate malt, nice and gooey. Chalk malt, lots of goo, right, Char? What'll you have, sir? Uh, give me a chocolate ice cream soda with chocolate ice cream. Chalk soda with chalk ice, right, Char? Uh. <laughs> oh, Harold, remember when we used to order one strawberry soda and two straws? Yeah. And we'd sit there sipping our sodas and spooning. Yeah. Why don't you lean over like you used to and kiss my ruby lips? Mm. <laughs> I better get this thing over with. Flora Bell? Pardon me, sir. What? I have to change your order. We're out of chocolate ice cream. Well, give me vanilla. Okay. Chalk sewed with vanilla ice. Right, Jar? <laughs> <laughs> Flora Bell, I've been thinking about this engagement of ours. Oh, so have I. I hope we're not going to be engaged too long. So do I. Well... <laughs> Flora Bill, I have to be brave and tell Pardon you... Pardon me, sir. Oh, for heaven's sakes, what now? We just ran out of vanilla ice cream. Well, give me Tootie Fruity. One chalk sewed with toot fruit. Right, Jar? <laughs> <laughs> now, toot fruit, I mean Flora Bell. There's something I just got to tell you. And right now... All right. What is it? Well, Flora Bell... Hello, I... Harold. Oh, my goodness. Doc. Howdy, boy. Yeah, Pete, what are you two doing here? Uh, Harold, we just come down to tell you Pete and I are going to give you an engagement party tonight. Engagement party? That's right, boy. For you and Theo. Oh, Yo! see you later, fellas. Well, now, isn't that thoughtful of you gentlemen giving an engagement party for Harold and me? What? How's that, ma'am? Well, yes. Yes, Harold and I got engaged this morning at the bus station. You sure get around, boy. Go <laughs> wait, Pete. Well, Harold, aren't you going to introduce me to these two charming gentlemen? Uh, some charming gentlemen? Oh, yeah. I'm Flora Bell, this is Doc and Pete. Goodbye, fellas. Oh, just a minute, Harold. Looks like we'll have to make some new plans for the engagement party tonight. Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to change the wording on that cake. 
What'd you say your name was again, Miss? Flora Bell. Flory Bell. Let me write that down. Fellas, go away. <coughs> well, I guess we better be going. Goodbye, Miss Flora Bell. Goodbye. Come on, Pete. We better get going before Harold changes his mind again. Yeah, I declare. That Harold is a regular Tony Martini. <laughs> So that's what you were trying to tell me, you sweet little old Tootsie Roll. Uh, we're having an engagement party tonight. But, Flora Bell, you've just got to listen. Pardon me, sir. What is it now? Here you are. One chalk malt, lots of goo, and one toot fruit. Thanks. And by the way, I just heard about your engagement. The drinks are on the house. Why don't you go up there with them? <laughs> Honest, Harold, you were just a coward. You sat in that malt shop all afternoon and didn't tell Flora Bella. All you did was have four tutti fruity delights. <laughs> Rum flavored. Well, I'll tell her tomorrow. I can just keep Theodora from finding out about that engagement party tonight. Well, I'll think of something. Ooh. Yeah. Theodora. Where's my little honeybee been all day? Honeybee? Oh, I've just been buzzing around. <laughs> Harold. Yeah? This is our first day of being engaged. What are we going to do to celebrate tonight? But Theodora, maybe we better wait and celebrate some other time. What? Well, what are you going to do tonight? Well, I'm going to be engaged. I mean, busy. <laughs> now, Harold, you're keeping something from me. I wonder what I'd see if I could look inside you. Four tutti fruity delights. <laughs> oh, Theodora. Hello, Harold. Theodora. Howdy, folks. Hello, boy. You too again? Now, Harold, we just wanted to know what time you wanted to have the party tonight. Boys, not now. Party? Yeah, Doc and I are giving Harold an engagement party tonight. Ugh, I'm sunk. Why, Harold, that's why you were acting so funny. Uh, you were going to give me a surprise party to celebrate our engagement. Ah. Uh. <laughs> How's that again, ma'am? Uh, did you say you and Harold are engaged? Why, of course. Well, ain't that a doozy. <laughs> Guess we have to change the frosting again. Yeah. But I thought, I thought Fellas, you was I'll engaged. I'll talk to you later. I'm very busy. Boy, you sure are. <laughs> you must have a bicycle, yep. Harold. <laughs> Harold, huh? before we fix the cake again, you gonna make any more stops today? <laughs> a cake tonight? Yeah, if we don't wear it out before we eat it. <laughs> Fellas, scram. Well, Goodbye. We'll see you tonight. Yeah. And Harold, don't get no more ideas, boy. I swear we're almost out of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Cute fellas. <laughs> oh, just think, Harold. Uh, your little Theodore is going to have her name on your engagement cake. <sighs> Hope there's enough room. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Afternoon, Station KHJP. Uh, hello, Gloria. Oh, hello, Harold. Congratulations on your engagement. D which one? What? Are you engaged to two girls? I know this sounds ridiculous, Gloria, but yes. I know one thing, Harold. What's that? You're in trouble. It... <laughs> no kidding. Gosh, it's just like a case I read about in the paper the other day. Huh? A fellow was engaged to two women, just like you. He was? Yes, but he got out of it all right. He did? How, Gloria? He died. <laughs> Shot him. Zeep. One with a 32 and one with a 45. That makes 77 altogether. <laughs> yes, Gloria. And they shot him at an engagement party. Zoof. Right between the demi tasse and the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> see you later, Gloria. I'll send you my forwarding address. Harold, where are you going? I gotta see a man about a greyhound. Bus, that is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wonder what time the next bus leaves. I wonder where I should go. I could go to Washington, D.C. and be a music critic. No, it's safer here. <laughs> I ought to be ashamed of myself sneaking out of town like this. What would Grandfather Klemptrap say? He'd have gone to the engagement party and faced them both. 
By George, that's what I'm going to do. They can't scare me. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Oh, there you are. <laughs> Flora Bell. I've been looking all over for you. Flora Bell, please don't shoot. I'll put your name in the cake. Harold, what are you talking about? I'm not going to shoot you. You're not? But I am going to break your little old heart. What? I'm sorry, but I can't be engaged to you. Huh? I've been keeping something from you. You see, I'm practically engaged to a man in Charleville, a big grain merchant. Grain merchant? Yes. The poor man called me today and said if I didn't come back, he'd just go to seed. Ah. <laughs> uh. Flora Bell, do you mean that you were engaged to two people at the same time? Yes. Can you ever forgive me? Well, sure. What the heck? Of course, if you want to hold me to my promise. Oh, no. That is, I'll give you up. Oh, that's big of you. Yeah, that's me all over. Oh, well, there's my bus for Charleville. Goodbye, Tootsie Roll, Tingley. Goodbye, Ding Dong. Uh, well, Harold, you're a lucky fellow <laughs> You certainly get out of things <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Guess I'll go to my little old engagement party now I will gather stars out of the blue for you Harold? Theodora! Harold, what's this I hear about your being engaged to another woman? Oh, that. Well, that was nothing. She's gone and our engagement is off. Well, I think we'd better call ours off, too. What? But Theodora... I don't think my gay little bachelor is quite ready to settle down yet. Well, maybe you're right. (laughs) And maybe we shouldn't see each other for a while. Ooh. For how long? Well, say, until tomorrow night. Tomorrow night? Yeah, let's a date. <laughs> See you then. Goodbye. Yeah. Toodaloo. Hello, Harold. Yeah, howdy, boy. Well, hello, fellas. Just checking up for the last time, Harold. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure now what you want us to write down on that cake? Boys, I'm a bachelor again. Boys, I'm a bachelor again. Let me write that. What? <laughs> How about celebrating, fellas? Come on. I'll buy you both a double tutti fruity delight. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> you have just heard the Harold Perry show, Honest Harold. The supporting players tonight included Jane Morgan, Parley Bayer, Mari Alden, Shirley Mitchell, and yeah. Dick Prenna, and featured Gloria Holiday as Gloria and Joseph Kearns as old Doc Yak Yak. Norman McDonald directed, and the music was composed and conducted by Jack Meekin. Honest Harold, created by Harold Perry, was written by Gene Stone, Jack Robinson, and Dick Powell. Tomorrow night on CBS, the famed star of the Metropolitan Opera, of South Pacific and now of the movies, Ezio Pinza, is your star on Suspense. Radio's outstanding theater of thrills. Oh? Mr. Pinsa will be heard in a new well drama, Aria from Murder. Another fine attraction on CBS tomorrow evening will be Bruce Cabot as the Hallmark Playhouse star in The Golden Herd. CBS invites you to hear Ezio Pinsa on Suspense and Bruce Cabot on The Playhouse tomorrow evening on most of these same stations. Stay tuned now for The Bing Crosby Show, which follows immediately on most of these same CBS stations. Bob Lamont speaking. This is CBS, where Edward R. Murrow and Hear It Now come to you on Friday evenings, the Columbia Broadcasting System.